Previously on the Order 1986. What the fuck was that? I think you're a fucking lichen! At least I'm not a drunk. At least I don't have a problem. My cocaine. Hey, Galahad screamed looking at her face. Do you trust anyone, Leon? I trust no one but myself and the white liquor. Inside the house of the ladies of the night. I'm gonna finish what he started. We'll do this together, Galahad remarked. Shooting Galahad in the chest. Oh, fuck. He found another man, stabbed him with his own rifle. It was totally badass. I fucking hate you, he said. It's all just a travesty, this whole thing, this whole fucking game. Galahad and Pierre watched in awe as the giant blimps surrounded the sky, floating like giant marshmallows or clouds. It was something out of a horror H.G. Wells nightmare. Everything was going to shit. Uh, additionally, Galahad had no direction of where he was going. What the fuck am I looking at? He finally found Sentinel-5. The giant airship in the sky that controlled everything in London. He typed some Morse code to it. Do you hear me now, you fuck? He said, why can't you just type on the comm, you fucking idiot? Starting to scream everywhere, expletives coming out of his mouth like they were verbal diarrhea. Pierre was none too impressed as he took the binocular device and once again inserted it into his rectum. Unlikely duo continued their way through Whitechapel, not Jenna Chapel, although I'm sure we all would like to do that once in a while. Every day, anyway, creepiness aside, Galahad and Pierre ran across to the other roofs. Do you like this game, Pierre? I invented it. Oh no, Pierre, your poor leg would hate to see what happened. If what what I planned went through, Pierre caught a glimpse of Galahad's murderous intentions as he walked by a stupid fucking doll that a lot of people ever saw from Sackboy. Won't let me use it? Okay, good. We're already past it. Already a dead issue! Galahad continued. These fucks on YouTube trying to find Easter. Never mind. Nothing personal. Galahad stormed the door, using his mighty foot to crash through it. Pierre came up too close. Not again, Galahad said, ushering Pierre to keep Leave his personal me, distance going. for once in your goddamn life! On, Galahad you. would have none of that as he observed a Clint Eastwood-looking figure with a pistol drawn, his cowboy hat absurdly tall. Who the hell would wear a ridiculous hat like that, Galahad quipped as he watched. Not that it concerned him, he had his own version of a pistol. He grabbed the guy's hat, shoving it into his throat and choking him with it. The guy was totally caught off guard. Galahad, unimpressed as someone tried to whack them with their cane. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde here, Galahad said. The only difference is, I'm always Mr. Hyde! Oh! It was like the Hulk from Avengers, but way cooler, because Galahad. And he totally landed on someone. He's like, uh, soft landing, Galahad said, trying to be all cool and badass. Pierre mocked him at his failure. Galahad was cut in the legs, and then he almost got his famous throat slit. He did absolutely nothing to stop this from happening. The knife entered Galahad! It was hilarious! Galahad's face moving on it. <laughs> Can we watch it again? Let's, let's do this. Square. Watch this, watch this. Oh no! <laughs> the man began!
freaking Stabby Galahad's throat looking for something that was hidden in it. Digging for treasure like a desperate rat trying to find its way out of a cage. It just kept digging and digging and digging. Only in this case, the man kept stabbing and stabbing Galahad's throat. Galahad dodged using the knife to stab the man in his own throat. You did that to me? I'm gonna do it to you, he said. Stabbing the man numerous times in the throat with his own knife before snapping his neck. Oh, and all of a sudden, the thunder gun, as used by Leon, just completely destroyed someone, ripping their own flesh off their bones. It was a hideous sight indeed as they fell apart into ash. Quite comedic, Pierre said, marking his return as a character into the story as someone who might have been relevant at some time. Leon offered, oh no, we have to go meet up with Fabisham. She's busy. I gotta show you some cool shit before that, he said. Ushering the London Scotland Yard to open up the cellar door of what would appear to be the creepy basement that we all had friends who died in. Minding the graved and the be dead bodies who were buried under the floor! Leon ushered Galahad towards some of the cool shit that had been accrued in this basement. Oh, wow! Galahad remarked sarcastically. Not like he could see. There's a glass eye in his face, if you recall. In episode 3, he got ripped out by the werewolf. Anyway! Leon grabbed a giant box of Galahad. He's like, you better see what's in here. I know you're going to have trouble. It's amazing, though. And oh! Galahad propped the crate open effortlessly. Pierre gave a meaningless remark. Oh, is that what it is? Not even knowing what it was. You shut your fucking mouth! Galahad screamed as he picked up the gun. It was the Thermite M180. So amazing. So cool and reckless. It was the best thing ever invented. It was the reason this game was sold, and the whole purpose for creating it. They should have entire levels dedicated to it. If this is a multiplayer game, this would be the weapon I'd use, Galahad remarked. As if games like this existed in his own time of 1886. Galahad effortlessly joined Leon and Pierre as they finally found Lady Fabisham doing more Fabisham-style work. One of the London Guard inspectors slowly, slowly making his way forward like he wasn't going to be dead by the next scene. Galahad did nothing. Just kidding. Galahad moved himself from cover finally as the coward emerged. He used the thermite gun immediately, disintegrating all of his opponents. Do you feel me? I see fire! I am the god of fire! And I bring you fire! Galahad started screaming totally egotistically as he burned everyone alive. It was so amazing to see. He just kept throwing thermite onto people. It was so badass as they started on fire. Flames bursting from their nostrils. The air inside their lungs oxidized as the flames caught on. It was totally amazing to see. He fired into the distillery burning it from the core. It was so cool. Everything started on fire like a reckless hell spawn. You want to know what hell feels like? He screamed. Burning people alive. What little bit of their souls they had left. He had ushered them into hell. He fired carelessly towards Lady Fabisham igniting her dress. How you like me now, Barbecue Fabby? She was melted into a pool of solid matter. It was disgusting. Oh no, Scotland Yard took a hit. Better use the thermite gun for everything. This is the reason people bought this. The God of Fire continued. I am the best ever. He started screaming, just totally out of his element. He didn't even realize what was happening. He was bored for this shit. Galahad continued reluctantly as now he was forced to use a shitty bulltock pistol. Uh, uneventfully, he fired into the opponents. 
I am so beyond this shit, Galahad thought. As Pierre kept ushering. Oh, help further, Galley. The man is dying. <sighs> Galahad paid no attention to the man. Who the fuck cares? Oh no! Leon! No! 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 The best character in the game was shot! It's too bad he won't use that s seductive goo to keep him alive. However, in this instance he did. Circumventing the tropes of Leon's well-perceived fate as his facial hair drew more a white resemblance to the cocaine dust accumulating quite presumptively. Galahad was now tasked with finding a way out of there. The first thing he did was grab a piece of paper because that totally helps. There's nothing on it. Fucking stupid, Galahad screamed. Galahad stupidly placed a thermite charge, wasting half of his goddamn ammo on the brick thing, and then he immediately fired into it. This is like Breaking Bad, if I knew what that is. And holy shit! Oh my god, the god of fire! Living up to its name as he melted the combustion chamber into nothing but hot oil that slowly seeped away. It was a bonfire for the ages, Galahad remarked. His eyes closing, squinting further with devious intentions. The constable Bob was dead. He's been dead for 20 minutes, Galahad remarked. He's been dead his whole goddamn life. At the uselessness of Constable Bob's character, Leon continued Pierre, a little remorseful. Lady Favisham, somehow taken aback by her secret lover, Constable Bob. His, his amazing death, leaving questions for no one. Galahad continued. He saw that little glare Lady Fabisham had. You can see it, him! You want him? You got him! He's right there! Galahad was so, so fucking pissed at Lady Fabisham right now, he didn't even have the words to say it. Slowly but surely, Galahad continued through the streets. He was almost done with this. He used the thermite gun, just blowing up everyone. He didn't give a fu two fucks. Everyone started on fire from the inside out. Their stomach acid and just totally melting with their body. They got caught on fire. This was terrible. This reminded him all of Vietnam. Gal had used, had unlimited ammo for the thermite gun. Who the fuck decided to give Lady Fabisham the goddamn art cannon, he screamed. So unimpressed with her demeanor and inability to use the weapon. Pierre was so jealous of Galahad's amazing gun, he had to use the binocular ray to spot something. Not that it mattered, he had no control of it. No, oh, thank you. Galahad pointed out the next plot point that would be important for the game. He'd have to go take out Oh, and the Mad Knight emerged! Having his own thermite cannon! I am the Fire Lord, he screamed. The Fire Lord is no match for me, Galahad remarked. I am the God of Fire. And I bring you... Fire! He screamed, firing everything. His thermite was much stronger than Galahad's. Perhaps this was a foe that could not be defeated. Galahad sparked the flames bound on the Fire Lord. There's only one true Fire Lord here, and his name is Galahad! Galahad screamed, chortling a finite goo that emerged from his own mouth. It was a discharge that was absolutely disgusting. Lord Thorpe was totally unimpressed with Galahad's demeanor. Took you 80,000 ammo. Thorpe managed to quip at Galahad's own ineptitude. He wasn't impressed with his great great grandson. Oh, what a plot twist! Thorpe led the way as Galahad followed in suit. This is the time 
Like have you heard the down. song? Have you heard the song by the Doors? My favorite song is is Galahad slowly continued. <laughs> Discontinuing his initial thought. Galahad made his way on his bridge before he managed to think of something super badass to say. My favorite song by the Doors is Light My Galahad yelled, screaming about, Behold my power! Unlimited power! Galahad screamed, everyone in Whitechapel, just totally taken aback at this man's lunacy. He was screaming at the top of his lungs. Everyone looking out their windows at the madman who claimed to be the god of fire. And for that day, he was. He lived as he talked. Understood. And to some, he was a god of fire. Galahad made his way through the unending streets of Whitechapel. Totally just disdain on its face at the peasantry. Ugh. It didn't matter that he was the god of fire. The god of fire still had feelings, and those feelings were of an upset stomach. Why do I have to deal with these? Thought. He thought just disgusting thoughts as he imagined all the people being covered in thermite from Sentinel-5, calling it in, and him lighting the charge. It would be amazing, he thought, just seeing everyone burn in the whole city. I could destroy you all! Galahad screamed at all the London officers. The sheer look of horror on their face. They couldn't explain it. It was like they'd seen someone so disturbed yelling at them random stuff. Galahad continued looking at Leon. I got a beard in you! It's clear that the child was not allowed to have the toy much longer, Leon thought, as Galahad aimlessly looked around. A fire drunk in his eyes. He's like, I can burn them all now, he thought. Leon, calling for a more calmer action, despite being on cocaine the entire time. He ordered Galahad to do the unspeakable. He said, call in Sentinel-5, but don't use your thermite. You're going to do the subsonic resonator. Oh, this was going to be amazing, Galahad thought. Amazingly gay, realizing that he didn't get to use his super fire gun. The one thing that made Galahad a god amongst men. Instead, he was forced to throw what was left of the binocular object that Tesla had created. That had been inserted in Pierre's rectum. Immediately, Sentinel-5 locked on, sending an anchor down. Deploying a high energy subsonic resonator. It crashed into the ground, destroying everything, resonating through the bones. Immediately, everyone was irradiated. It was disgusting. The were beasts running away in fear. Total fear at the subsonic resonations. At this point, Pierre objected to Galahad's thermite use. Uh, I need this. Can I borrow it? It's so cool, let me see it, he said. Galahad reluctantly let Pierre see it once, and Pierre took it away! Because the child is not allowed to play with the gun! Leon screamed. At Galahad, who was forced into the hospital and locked in with Fabisham. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play. Be sure to leave a like, share it on social media, it always helps me out. I appreciate it if you guys could show some love to this series. It's new. It's new for me to do a Let's Play. And I hope you guys are enjoying it very much. Peace out. I will see you in the next episode of The Order, 1986.